Hello and welcome everyone to part 82 of the Huns Let's Play for Total War Until we continue where we left things off last time. I've gone through an end turn phase. Economy is back up. Uh, Munzuk's Wrath has been decimated to try and improve its integrity. And uh, hopefully we can make some gains, although we have had to retreat from the Sassanid hordes that have uh, come on out and killed us all. We'll take attrition, but this turn we'll be replenishing finally all my forces. The uh, the economy's boosted because the rivalry isn't anywhere near as high as it was. So yeah, is it going up or down? No, it's still minus eight. Buildings and tax is hurting it and the rivalry. So we really need something to increase integrity for Munzuk's Wrath, but I don't think we've got anything. I don't think there's anything we can get here that can improve it. So the only other way is to reduce taxes or to um, get him to fight some battles. We can pop the top tax down, it'll only be minus two, because also I don't have to be decimating my units all the time because it's going to take ages to get these hordes battle ready again. Which ain't good. I mean, I wonder if I've got any tech that will actually help with integrity. Um, oh! Uh, that one will give us plus three integrity. Um, I think I've got to drop the tax down though, because otherwise his his he's going to be in trouble. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, he needs to fight a battle. We need to get him in and fighting a battle, which means we're probably going to merge all these units and pump out a brand new load. Um, we can obviously get the Hunnic Devil Archers here now anyway. Uh, so we'll want to replace these guys with them. Uh, I had someone comment saying, why did I not go for the Sassanid capital? Because, did you, were you not watching the last part? The Sassanids pushed up with all their armies. I cannot go after them right now. Which sucks the big one. All of my hordes are in desperate need um, of replenishing. We're going to go up to first wave lancers with these guys. But yeah, everyone needs to replenish. We've been stopped dead in our tracks, essentially. We've got to have a huge amount of, um, of replenishment right now. The Saxons are pushing over here. No clue why. Um, that's fine. The Golden Horde, these guys, we've pushed in. Over here, we're going after this settlement. Which is, in itself, pretty weak. Uh, we're going to leave you replenishing up there. Although, to be honest, we need to merge all your units and start again. You, you guys could do with the, uh, that, or you need a... Uh, you got the archers in the cabinet, so you can get a Hunnic Devil Archers, so that's that's fine. We've got a lot to do. To be honest, I probably need my economy higher than it is. So I think these guys could probably they could probably push and strike Munzik's Wrath, yeah. But we are still in Nib uh oh, I could move them back. That's Odessa though, so we've got to stay in this this area here. Because they're sharing the province with these guys. I want to move these guys up and further, further well, over to where we might get some kind of reinforcing support. Get Considering that, I want to get everyone to uh, encamp and all that. So we've got to find out where the other Sassanid forces have gone over here. We've got the Aran to deal with as well. Right, uh, campfires, that helps your integrity. Your integrity is fine here. Footman camp, we could take that up if we need to. But I was going to go for these communal grounds up to campfires, I think, for more food, growth, wealth, from animal husbandry. Seeing as that's quite key for us everywhere. Um, rather than getting, say, the wine trader, I think we'll go for um, campfires for now. Not necessarily sure I'm going to spend the money on that this turn because I need to. I've got to rebuild all these armies. Wild ones, you're fine, but then you're just spam full of horse archers. Um, you guys aren't too bad, Will of Tengri. You'll replenish within enough turns. That's fine. So let's just get you guys to a full stack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You need another. I think Devil Archer. Eight. Um, uh, we could give you another first wave Lancer, so we'll do that. There we go. 
Okay, that's them sorted out. Trying to look at my other forces that I've got about as well. Because these guys need sorting. Scourge of God with Moogle, you are fine. You'll probably you'll replenish up for another time. I mean, we could probably push on this settlement, actually. You should replace your Hunnic horse archers with devil archers. Although, doing that, I've got to be careful because obviously the upkeep cost change is going to be rather significant. So I need to make sure I can actually support all that. So maybe in this army where it's still good, I won't change them. I'll only do it in my damage towards. These guys need a lot of work. I mean, can any of these guys actually get knockers? Have we got anyone that gets knockers over here? Uh, no, we don't have anyone. So we do rather need to sort that out. That's infantry. What have we got over here? We have footman's camp. Why do we... I might change that since we've already got infantry encampment here. And then over here we've got archers encampment. Yeah, I'm going to change that. We don't need the two. Yeah, I'm going to pick up a lancer's trading ground. But again, can't afford to do that this turn. Not with the changes to units that I need to make. So first off, it's these guys. Merge everything. Right. Get rid of those. We'll keep the spears for now. We'll keep the knock oars. We'll keep the uni guard. And we'll keep those four horse archers in case we are attacked. Hike devil archers. Yeah, six recruited. Throw in some knock oars as well. Fight with us. But we'll throw in four of them, and then once we've got all these guys, we'll get rid of these horse archers or put them into this horde here. Swap them around a bit. That's essentially all our money, so we can't do anything else here. The rest just going to have to replenish up as much as possible. These guys might be alright. Oh, wait, here, hang on. We were going to get some onigas, weren't we? We can get some large onigas in here. Okay, we'll just get rid. We'll keep like two horse archers or something. We've got the uni guard to think about as well. So I'm not looking strike this turn. Um, maybe even not this part. We've got to we've got to recover massively. We'll probably strike down here though. Um, can't do any more though this turn. I'm gonna leave these guys in camp to replenish them off a little bit. For now, right. Let's end the turn. See what happens. Or oh, now. Saxons, you're going to move until you're moving up towards my hordes again. I think you've just brought up your third one, so I've got to keep an eye because that's where I've obviously moved all my armies to that sort of part of the world. Sassanids, you're looping around and you're pulling up more forces. I'm hoping that, I mean, for now we may just have to hold with my hordes here. May just have to play the waiting game until my hordes can push up from the south, hit them in the behind, then it should draw some of these hordes south, I can strike again from the north in a waiting period. I mean, my hordes need that time to sit there and replenish. Britain's, Britain's got over to bloody Egypt somehow. I give the AI that, they're not, they are, they've pushed all the time. Terms of office are over, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I saw a, a, a horde of... An army of Britain. What the hell are you guys doing over here? Seriously, you're that keen on chasing me. You've chased me a world away. Welcome, I suppose. Oh, let's slow you turn because you still admire the bloody Sassanids. Right, I need to pull this spot up here. Is there nothing else? Because these guys could push up and hit the will of Tengri. Which, thankfully, is probably my best. Sort of looking horde right now. I roam as I please. In fact, what I'm going to try and do is stop a slightly larger army. Ooh. The in the dark. Risk this. Okay, well, I'll have to do that. Uh, I'm going to put him in here to support the army because he can replenishment rate increase, which is what we need right now. See if we can actually get any more warriors. A brute. Might be worth it just for the, the supports that we can get from this. 
Some spies, though, as well, would be really useful. Animal husbandry would be great to pop in right now, but... Yes. To leave it for a bit. You guys are still going down with your integrity. I need to sort that out, but I can't upgrade anything. There's nothing I can actually access uh, unless I change the preserved food wagons over to, say, the wine distributor, which would sort out our problems. We'd lose 50 reserves from food, which I can't afford to take. Um, okay, is there anything else that we can do? No, they still cost integrity. Nope. Um, this has to be the shamans yet, so I'd have to destroy something here. We've already got goat pens. We've got going out for a third, basically, because we need more food. I'm going to have to attack something with you or decimate again. This one can hit us. Let's try misdirecting them. Cool. That will stop them, and they'll take more attrition. We've just got to stay in camp for a few turns. I've got some spies and agents here. We can try and go after their agent. Poof, rebuilding. Rebuilding the hordes. I'm leaving this spy here to keep an eye on Sassanid forces down here. I've got to be careful of Britain because if they push up... I mean, we can take these armies out easily with a full, fully equipped horde. I mean, this horde would be perfect. In fact, I may well try and just go down and, and wipe these guys out in a turn or so. Um, we just have to keep an eye on them, be careful about it. The Golden Horde down here. Uh, that's it. It's only Munzuks that's, um, that's struggling. I wonder if um, it's because of Bleda himself. Is he... There's nothing here that helps with um, integrity, is there? I mean, he's got loads of skills. He's actually a Scourge. But there's nothing to increase integrity. I know that there is integrity increases in the force details. But we should already... Ha oh, it's like when raiding. So we could actually... Maybe if we raided, it would help us out. That might boost us up a bit. And for integrity when in camp, you actually got as much integrity as possible. Although Royal Host, that would help things out. But again, we're not close to doing that. Encampment, re uh, resting. The rivalry. If we got rid of the rivalry, then that'd be fine. So really, I need to move these guys into their own region. That's That's what we're saying. Okay, that might help sort stuff out. Are you the only one in your region? No, this one needs to move somewhere else, basically. That's where these guys are, though. We need to sort out the Aaron before they get too strong, otherwise I'm going to have a problem at my back again. <sighs> How is Moogle? He is looking pretty good. We need to strike here before they get too... Powerful. What was that? What was that shit? Was it just a regular? No, it was a, a battery. Um, Dromon. These guys are, are replenishing up slowly, but but surely. And I want to save my money for now. Come, sit. Share my These guys are in a bad way. I can't convert you over, so we're going to save money for that, so we can get that convert going. I won't do anything else there. I mean, I would love to make you a. Spinners yet, to be honest. Yeah, we'll go for the spinners yet. We'll start going for that. Just get the economy back up again because we're going to need it. Um, what have we got here? We've got spinners yet. We've got cloth maker yet. We've got goat pens. Probably do more artisans over here as well, to be honest. So we'll get that going as well. Um, we may be. Ah, uh, let's move down here. In camp again for another turn that should sort most of them out. I think I probably need to move with this army or, or one of them in some sort of direction to perhaps go over here as well and get some kind of movement going. So I'm going to bring you guys over here. We'll create some rivalry. But we need to, can't be too static. Even with these guys being weakened, I think we'll be okay. Do, do, do. Right. 
another end turn. It is a fight for survival. Well, my agent there, I'm going to pop him into an army because he probably have replenishment gains. I need to get more agents. Saxon's raiding on the shore, won't you see what Britain does? That's it, Sassanids. Ah, damn it. So, pull one army back, three go forward. As long as they're going to, if they sit round their capital, I am perfectly happy for that to happen. Because right now I can't do anything. I need to use this time to probably cluster my forces towards the east again and send like two hordes behind to go and destroy Ar the Aran. Once and for all, I did have someone suggest I go. Um, to the north and then to the east and come round the Caspian Sea and uh, I'll show you on the map the plan. Oh, I need to put guys back into their positions. Oh dear, we're low on money. Why is that? Uh, must have a rivalry. Yep, yeah, the rivalry here. Okay, so there's only one thing I can do to fix that. Let's move over here. Pop you here. <laughs> Insex Wrath. If I put the taxes up for a turn. Minus eight. We be mutiny in four turns. That's okay. We can still deal with that. We need to get these guys into their own separate territory. So they have. They're in the uh, Nizibis territory. Is there anywhere Alden's bow can go? Gonna have to do it. No, we've got a Sassanid army down here. But they've been stopped. Uh, right, um, we've got cunning going up crazy. Probably need some authority in here, which we get from this one. Go. Can't tell how far they can move because of their own army, but the rivalry should go down here now because I can move this army here, this horde. Which isn't a particularly important one, so that's fine. These guys are replenishing well. I need to know where the Britain, where Britain went with their army, but can't see. That's kind of dangerous. Ah, oh, they're over here. Okay, that's fine. We can see what's going on. We are nearly at full strength, if not. They've got they've got walls then. They managed to build up walls here. You do. They've got a fortified a country town, so it has walls. Okay. We will have to disrupt your walls then to get in. But it was a failure, so when I mean, I've got an Oniger. Let's, let's see what the Besieging settlement. Hmm. None will escape. Yeah. I think we'll um I think we'll break the siege, and we'll just encamp up, and we'll let my agent destroy the walls, and then we can flood on in that way. We can support with another horde. Pulling this one around slowly, we're going to have to go over to Omana. I've got to be careful, though, because I don't know what's down there. Yes. What? There is more I could do. There is more I could do. We need to use this spy to open up paths in the south. Alden's bow. I'll actually, see what you guys can you recruit any agents? A public speaker, inspire, populist. That's not going to help. I think we've maxed out on our spies anyway. Actually, we can get another champion. So much will pop you in here. A war master, military experience. Yeah, we'll have you. Go back in these armies for now. In glory. 
You'll give extra replenishment. Who really needs it? Uh, Munzuk's Wrath, in fact. Now that's only down minus four because of characters. Good, he actually gives a bonus. There we go. The agent must do anyway. It must do. Agent details. Authority. Oh, uh, no. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, a lot of stuff. Uh, press, success chance, authority. Raiding, assault action, harass enemy army. We'll go for this one. Campaign map movement range. That's always useful, but I would assume that's for for him himself. So we'll go for this one for recruitment and we'll reduce the agent action cost. I need to put guys into office because I forgot about that again. Generals first. Grand spoiler. In fact, Bleda, if we could pop him into an office, he'd surely be happy. Just gotta find him somewhere over here. In fact, we're looking for general. You know, that's stars. Loads of stars. Okay. Probably gone past him already. I'm just like, I'm bland. Right. Let's zoom out a little bit. Cool. These family members, eh? Right, you're a grand spoiler. Um, Bleda, are you are you other venerable elder? I thought so. Is there anything will give you more integrity? Ah, can't go down to it though. Okay, we'll pop you down to noble companion when you have more influence, but you have no influence at the moment either. You need to win some battles, bruh. You might as well be a dread rider. I don't think I've got anyone else that can. Any other generals, anyway. Spoiler for you. No one else been in the other positions yet, so they can't go anywhere else. Ah, uh, you can be a glorious subjugator. Boom. Yes. Do, 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 do. That's all for now. Right, T T. -t. We can sort you out. We can sort you out. And need to, again, I need you to win battles. <laughs> Hopefully, get you into a scrap soon. Um, right, we need to probably get rid of that many horse archers. So that, in a turn, I shouldn't have done this. Turn, I should have done next turn, so that we can get the large onager. Although it will help with recruitment drop um, costs going down. Get the large onager. Maybe another. Spearman, so we get two large onagers if we want, and we could get another uni guard. But actually, looking at it, I'm not sure we need to because they cost a lot more. Excellent spotting, they're faster, but the Hunnic Devil, Hunnic Devil archers haven't beat elsewhere. Okay, not as much um, actual melee attack. They do more melee damage. These guys have higher defense, so they're better for switching out. Um, they have higher health. I think I and I think for the the extra cost, eh, I could probably get rid of them. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, right. So one more intern. Whoa! How did the Saxons appear here? Oh my God! How have you got over here? I've got to retreat. Which is annoying because that's going to take a lot of attrition. How the hell did the Saxons get there? My god. How have they got this... Bloody hell. <laughs> this would be the time where I'd get a peace with the Sassanids. I can see all their armies assembling. They're pulling a few back. They've actually left their capital open now, but it's still not worth a, a die-hard strike because, with, like, if I had, if I wasn't playing as the Huns, I would actually probably 
just push and strike the settlement and take the fact that I'd probably lose an army. With the Huns, I can't do that because these guys are also my my settlements. The hordes, I cannot afford to lose them. Damn, Saxons. How have you got? Bloody hell. Oh, Bled has died. <sighs> well, that might solve some problems. May very well solve some problems. Just got to find a reasonable replacement. Oh, another Bledder. Um, ah, Merchant. This guy looks... He's got potential. Yeah, and the others cost way too much. Yeah, we'll go for you. Died of natural causes, the grand old age of 72, which is pretty good for a Hun. Offices secured elsewhere. Right, Saxons. I mean, you don't have full armies. I can go in and take you down. I mean, this army could probably go and take them down. I'd wager we probably could do that. The reinforcements, I'm not so sure. But this brings us to a perfect point to actually end this part here and I can, well, you guys can share your thoughts. Do the wild ones, a full horse archer army that I've just put in there mainly to keep these guys alive while we slowly build up economic buildings. Um, speaking of which, artisans, yurts, let's get them going. Um, should we attack with them and wipe out the Saxons? I think we should be able to do it. I mean, we could support with Alden's bow, but he's, he's pretty wrecked right now. Looking at some mercenaries now. He's pretty wrecked. He's not He's not a happy chappy. He thought he was going to get away there. Christ. Ah, oh, I don't even know what to... Th I, am the destroyer of <laughs> I wonder how many more armies they've got, but I'm hoping that's it. Oh, the Saxons over here have moved down. Moved there. The Will of Tengri should be able to smash both of these into pieces. We should have some battles next turn. I think I'm out of the reach of the... Of the Sassanids, if I go for a strike here, we can we can find out. In fact, as far as I can see, there's nothing here. The Sassanids have pulled back several armies. Um, we'll find Britain wherever they've gone. Nope. I think they went further south. Or they went to the coast. But we should be able to take both these armies. It's what twelve, and they have two, three cavalry units between them. A few more there, but my horse arch, my hunter horse arch, will be a great outing for them to smash them. I think we can smash those two armies there. It's whether this horse archer army, whether we've got the power there, take all these guys down. I, th I think we probably do. I think we probably do. It's whether we can take both of them down. But uh, feel free to sh share your thoughts in the comments, and we'll be doing that next time. Golden horde down here, which has replenished rather well now. In fact. So I'm prepared to try, just before we wrap up this part, bring you down here. I know they've brought in more ships here. We'll just see if the auto resolve's not in our favour. That's a failure. At least he's trying to let him up. Eh. Reasonable war. I guess we could fight it with all those ships trying to land. We're going to have to punch some holes in the wall. We may lose more men. Share your thoughts about this siege. Whether we leave it or uh, or what for next turn, next part. Uh, we've got the sabotage walls maxed out. We probably need some more authority for some crits. Find me authority. That gives us authority. That gives us authority. Uh, these guys over here, they should be replenishing again. They're getting all right. We can continue moving you guys along for now because it looks like um, Omana is pretty open. But I'm not going to strike you just yet. I'm going to move you around to here. Because I am, I am spreading you out pretty, pretty extensively. Um, we've got to be careful with that because we don't want to be hit by another strike from somewhere. These guys have walls as well, so I've got to be careful because I don't have enough to take. If I draw all these Sassanid armies south, I don't have enough to deal with them. Got to be careful there. So, dealing with the Saxons next time looks like it's on the uh, on the menu there. They're starting to go down. Oh, how's their Munzik's wrath recovered? Ah! Oh, okay, the character influence was actually from uh, <laughs> from him, not not my agent. 
So minus nine at this tax level. These guys need to get into a battle. Or we're going to have to decimate. Um, so I would have to lower the taxes. But I don't know if we'll go, we'll go negative if we do that. Should help these guys out a smidge though. We're going to need to get them into battle. Into a battle. We could actually we could use these guys to actually reinforce against the Saxons. Or we could actually strike with this army against the Saxons. Because they're far higher tier units. So anyway, thoughts and stuff for next time. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride and join the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, XMG, Green Man Gaming, and GG Mega Racing. Ciao for now.